Good morning everyone, it's Emily here from Phoenix Gateway and I'm here to do your general weekly read for July 4th to the 11th. Um, I am working with my Sacred Geometry Healing cards and these are available from my website www.phoenixgateway.com.au or from Amazing Stockers all over the world which is really exciting. The other thing you can buy from my website or find out more, you can download some PDFs which are, uh, are free on my website, but they are to do with my liquid alchemy in a bottle or my lab. And these are divine elixirs that have been created to nurture, balance and heal the mind, body and soul. And they can work in many different ways and you can use them in more ways than one. Again, please go on my website. You can download the PDF of that if you like. So I'm just gonna push that out of the way for a minute. I'll actually leave them there. All right, so let's get stuck into this reading and see what comes up for the week for the 4th to the 11th of July. We do have a new moon on the 10th of July, a uh, new moon in Cancer, very nurturing, um, the moon energy of or the energy of this week excuse my dog um, it's just really feeling I don't know I feel very subdued this week um, or oh, that's the feeling that's coming through I just feel that it's going to be a week of coming back into balance it's a week you know with this new moon energy it's it's wonderful as well because it's about um, reflecting on old ways that you have done things and looking at new ways of doing things now, new beginnings that you want to create within your family, your business. Um, it will be very different for everyone because it is a general read. So can I please have some cards please and thank you for the week of the fourth. Oh. Okay, meditation. And this is really a perfect card. It's about, you know, the, our ability to go within. It is about concentrating on um, expanding our awareness, expanding our energetics, uh, expanding our consciousness. And when we really go into that aspect of meditation, the, what you know we really start working with our intuition and what comes forward for us is usually um, the most accurate of information because when we're working with our intuition it is the GPS of our soul okay so a really beautiful um, card to first come out it's about that mindfulness spending that time with yourself the card is 43, so four is all about foundations. Three is the expansion, together is a seven. Um, seven is really a sacred number and it's the number of the mystic. It has quite a few meanings on it as well. Okay, my dog it just wants attention. All right, up oh, here comes another one. I love it. The Awakening card. Okay, and it, so apt with the meditation you know our connection into our higher wisdom because you know whale is all about our our wisdom if they the whale is the wisdom keeper um it is all about our accessing of the akash our akashic records it's all about conscious evolution and you know all the answers that we that we are looking for are actually all within us we have the map of the stars within our cellular memory we have you know the mapping of all knowledge and wisdom already within our cellular memory it's about being able to switch it back on okay and um, meditation is perfect because it's something that can truly help you with that aspect okay you're gonna go away um, I'm gonna draw another card for awakening because when the awakening card comes out um, with this deck it means that we draw another card on it and it actually tells us that the part the aspect of uh, that we're meant to concentrate most on at this present moment so can i have a card all right i've been given two oh, i love it all right i'm going to take both of them so we've got here clarity and the inner child all right Clarity is about wishing upon a star. This is about manifesting. This is what I feel is coming through with the awakening card. 
It's about manifesting all that you desire. It's about manifesting what you are, what you are, you are desiring, what you are wishing to fulfill, to create within your life and bring it into its physical um, and make it um, matter, okay? And materialize. So what it's saying is it's really important to stay clear and focused on what it is that you wanna create in your life right now, all right? So that is one of the things that we're working strongly on. Also, the acknowledgement of the inner child, and this can go both ways. Firstly, the inner child is our center of creativity. It is within the first seven years of our life, this is when you know we are programmed um, in terms of, of what, we, what we are learning and what we are taking in from around us on all aspects of our being in particular. For some, you know, sadly, uh, they've had very traumatic childhoods. Um, for others, and, and so what it's saying is it's about reconnecting into that inner child and nurturing it. Because remember, we are all fractal, which means when we take something like a babushka doll, okay, and you start opening up and you've got, you know, the bigger and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, that is fractal, okay? So, uh, you know, it's like a pregnant lady, a lady who's pregnant, the baby is is the fractal aspect of that larger aspect of the adult. So it's really, really important, okay, that we um, connect and reconnect into this inner child. For some, it is about healing trauma, and we all experience trauma in very different ways. Um, so what, you know, each one of us carries some form of traumatic experience but it's, you know, it, you will know personally what it is about for you if that is what is coming up now, okay? That is something to think about. Uh, the other part is that life has been so serious. Life has um, been so overwhelming. Um, you know, we, we put so much of our time into having to create the best lifestyles for our family and to, to build a business to success that we forget about ourselves and nurturing ourselves. And, you know, instead of adulting, you know, it's about being able to come back to yourself to, to find that childlike behaviors that give you such happiness and joy, whether it is, you know, splashing in a puddle, um, drawing, um, pictures or coloring in or just watching movies that have have a theme of of um of that just take you away from your everyday day life um you know it takes you off into um in into a a world of oh i can't even think of my words i've gone blank but just that pure happiness and bliss and, and you know, make-believe, well, I mean, half the time it's probably not even make-believe because it's real, it's just on a on a different plane and you're not realizing it uh, at, at that point in time. But um, I think you get the general gist, okay? So it's about reconnecting into the inner child. How you do it will be different for each one of us. And I still have my dog. <laughs> Who's wanting all the attention right now? Can I please have a couple more cards, please? And thank you. And it's so apt this week, you know, when we look at the class, it's what we're here to manifest. It's exactly what I've said in terms of, you know, before I started drawing the cards. This week is, you know, it's feeling a lot more balanced, but it's also about the nurturing aspect. It's, you know, we're going into that new moon in, in Cancer and Cancer is very much that nurturing aspect as well. Um, and it's about here, you know, bringing in the new, what are we here to fulfill? What are we here to create? What are we here to manifest, to, to materialize into this reality? Oops, and excuse me while I, okay, Yana, move. Oh, hello. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with the 174 first, okay? So the 174 also can carry on from the inner child, you know, and what we're healing, whether it be trauma or 
uh, where it, whether it fe a feeling of abandonment, um, rejection, the fears, whatever it may be. The 174 is an amazing solfeggio frequency to be working with right now. The 174 works on two levels. It can be one that's working as an anesthetic effect. So if you're in pain, you can use this particular frequency to work with pain. But what it's also telling you is it's time to let go. It's time to release that which no longer serves you. It's knowing that you are loved and um, you know that you you are loved and um, what's the word I want? Um, oh, that's it. You are loved. You are safe. Okay. It is knowing that you can release right now any karma that or old, old karma that no longer serves you that has been lingering around it is all part of old belief systems the karma may actually also relate to a person it might be saying you know now it's time you've had these karmic experiences with a particular individual even you know it's time to let that energy go so that it allows you to bring in the new energy the new energy of a person whether it be in a relationship the new energy of business, new energy of working with the relationships within your family members, your home environment. It could be so many things. And know that, you know, there is some amazing stuff coming your way, okay? The flower of life in this representation or in this card deck, it's all about the cocoon stage. It's still in its gestational stage. It's saying that you may not know what is yet to come. And that's okay because sometimes we're not meant to know everything. Sometimes we need to allow for the element of surprise when we need to allow to trust, okay? But it's also very important that you remain clear and focused on what it is that you're here to create in the here and the now, okay? It is saying that there is something amazing coming. I mean, all the ancient secrets, all the ancient knowledge and wisdom is held within the flower of life. And it is one of the most profound, most beautiful um, geometries of all. It is actually, you know, um, the two dimensional version of the 64 tetrahedral away or which is in its three dimensions okay which actually holds the the um the vacuum of the universe within it and so it's just knowing that all that wisdom all that knowledge everything that you need is already within here all right so i'm just gonna move that out of the way and it's a four, it's a 13, which is a four. So it's about, you know, what you're going to be creating within your foundations. I'm going to pull one more card, I think. Let's pull one more card and see what is here. Can I have one more card for the 4th to the 11th of July, please? And thank you. It's really about tapping into that inner knowledge and wisdom this week, really. It's about expanding, opening up, releasing. One more card, please, and thank you. One more card, please, and thank you. Oh, I'm starting to heat up energetically now, and I've got way too many cards. Okay, one more card. Please and thank you. Hmm. I love this card. It's my absolute favorite of all cards of this deck. Um, this is the love frequency. This is all about our mirror image of self. Okay, it's also about attracting a soulmate. So for some this week, it might be saying that, you know, there is somebody coming in if you've been, been wishing or um, putting out there to attract a soulmate. This could be saying that, hey, you know, the time is coming. It's, it's, this is near, this is happening. This is about to happen for you. It may even take you by the element of surprise. You may not actually be expecting this to happen. 
For others, it carries on with the theme of what this week is about. It's about meditating, it's about expanding, it's about the clear knowing and um, clear understanding of what it is that you are here to create within your life. It is about the healing aspect, it's about healing the inner child, okay? For some, it's re healing trauma, past experiences, because we can't carry with us the past, the trauma, the pains, the hurts, the fear of the past. Because when we do that, all we're doing is we're reliving, reliving, reliving those aspects rather than bringing in a new frequency. Listen to the 174, release old karma now, release the old outdated belief systems that no longer serve you now, okay? Because there is something phenomenal coming your way. There is something in its gestational period. And for some, this actually also might mean that um, you're pregnant and, you know, it's it's not quite time, but you're in your gestational period now as well. Um, but yeah, in terms of, of, of connection with another, this is coming. In terms of connecting with yourself and healing, this is happening now. This is really, really beautiful. Such beautiful cards this week. Um, a really a week of, of that reflecting, that healing, that nurturing um, and, and keeping clarity um, and a clear vision of what you are here to create for yourself. So have a wonderful week wherever you are. Again, you can purchase any of my uh, liquid alchemy in a bottle, my lab or my sacred geometry healing cards from my website www.phoenixgateway.com.au. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye for now.